Oh yes, guys, checking the sound. What is going on, guys, gals, aliens, and DJ and freaks? Good morning and welcome to Dano Crypto. On this live stream, I'm going to show you guys how to make simple, effective, and easy moves in the cryptocurrency ecosystem and for altcoins, Bitcoin. And uh, we're just going to get right into it, guys. Um, we are going to be talking about some different altcoins that I think are going to do very well in 2024. I built up a watch list and uh, made a separate watch list so we can go through each coin. We'll talk a little bit about each one. We'll show the charts. We'll give price predictions of where I think these particular altcoins are going to go in uh, at the end of 2024 and in the true bull run, which I think will be starting and really cap off in 2025, where I think uh, 2024 is just going to surprise us in a lot of different ways. We might even get a massive squeeze up to 50,000 before the end of the year. And then we are just going to be off, possibly off to the races after that. Uh, my analysis for Bitcoin uh, is going to be coming very soon, guys. So let's get into it. All right, so what is going on, guys? Let's look at Bitcoin right now. So Bitcoin obviously went over that trend line. We saw a nice little swoop. We've gotten these nice patterns hitting that trend line. We've bounced off of it a couple times. And the thing is, is that I think the fact that we've been now staying above that $43,000 level and we didn't... Um, reject past 40,000 means we actually have the strength. So the thing that I'm seeing right now currently is, you know, we, we aren't we aren't necessarily overbought on the RSI, but this is the 15 minute. If we go to the four hour, you know, we can see that maybe, you know, we are kind of having just a little bit of a bearish divergence here. And we uh, let's see what uh, key things we have coming up. Uh, let's see. Nothing super important. Durable goods, orders, uh, personal spending, uh, maybe just a couple, you know, some little announcements here. Uh, what does uh, TradingView think about Bitcoin right now? Says it's a buy. A lot of the altcoins right now are in a strong buy zone. And uh, you can see by looking at the open interest of the market right now, you can see that in the open interest we have on the CMEs, it is a uh, 0 0.07, nothing too crazy. Uh, let's see what we have for the main exchanges. So the open interest right now on the on the one hour and maybe the four hours just a little bit more like on BitGet, we got 2%. So on BitGet, it's a little high. And uh, what else? Uh, Coinec, Coinbase, 1.8%. And so now let's look at actually the, the RSI map. I've been really trying to check the RSIs more now than ever in my trading because I think it's probably one of the most important indicators that you can use to be able to see if something is overbought or oversold. And this is what I've been doing to basically upgrade my trading and it really, really helps, guys. And also, if you haven't uh, checked out Bitflex yet, uh, we currently have a nice position uh, on Bitflex right now with Matic. Matic was just like was was very, very. Um, um, I feel like it was a little a little oversold in some of these areas, especially how a lot of these altcoins have been running. You know, Polygon has a really, really good narrative. It's one of those projects that we are going to talk about um, as one of my picks for 2024. You know, Polygon saw an all-time high of almost $3, and a lot of people are speculating that it could be in the $10 range, even past that in 2024 at the end of possible 2025. And so it's something that, we definitely have always had the finger on the dial with Polygon. Polygon is that layer two where there's a lot of volume, there's a lot of liquidity, and there's a lot of tokens that love to use the Polygon contract to be able to have easier in and out of the market. 
in these ecosystems. So, uh, yeah, so definitely using the RSIs. This is on the daily, and I put my position in, I'll sh the, you know, at 78 cents right here. And I put it in there because I thought, look, you know, there's so many different value area highs that were happening on these nodes. And we were thinking, look, you know, price looks like it wants to go to that dollar range again. That's probably right there where we'll probably, you know, not probably, we will take some profits. And then we can see that obviously we've kind of been doing a little, little, little bing bong action maybe. Maybe that might be a little rejection point there. Maybe go like this, but we can clearly see, uh, even on the if we go to the weekly here, that we are in a uptrend towards that dollar range, and then we have previous a um, little bit. Pre we have previous great support here to go into these ranges which is in the dollar 50 which was just actually in February of this year so really um not that long ago in terms of in terms of price movement you know you know this year really did fly by and it really showed how you know we're we're really starting to really starting to get on this speeding train towards this bitcoin having you look at the bitcoin having and the bitcoin having is really uh pushing some steam and uh, I've been really liking looking at this chart, the CME chart, because we but we bounced it, we bounced into this area of uh, price range that we knew we were going to go into sooner than later. And now we're seeing, look, are we going to? And there's a big trend line that's drawn on this chart from the daily. And guys, shout out to the people in the live stream in the chat. I have not looked. Let's see who's in here. Let's see if we got some peeps. Uh, let's see. Um, smash up the likes, uh, by the way. Hit the subscribe button. Ding the bell all. You got to click all to be notified. So when I go live, you guys can check out some technical analysis and some altcoin alpha. I try and give you guys as much as possible. And uh, let me know who you are, where you are, whoever you are in the chat. And um, I think I was looking for um, LMP. LMP, I was going to make you a chat moderator. We talked about it. Uh, let's get on that. So if you say yo, 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 yo in the chat, I'll, uh, I'll make you a chat moderator right now. And anyone else who would be interested and in, who comes in these live streams and likes to uh, interact in the chat in Dano Crypto, uh, let yourself be known. All right, guys. So this is what I want to show you is this um, this level right here right here is where we we broke down obviously but it's key to look and compare it to the DXY so the DXY is on a downtrend and is going to eventually hit this level of going back into the 90s right here and the reason being is because if you look on the daily you can see here that we have a downtrend going back into these levels. And this is the exact point marked right here. So this is why I've been thinking, and a lot of people have been thinking, that they analyze these charts and they kind of compare it to other different moving markets. Um, and, and the dollar compared to you know, all these other assets, this is what's happening. It's like this, it's like this reverse thing happening. And then also we have, at the same time, we have the, the S&P 500, I think, is about to break all-time highs here soon and go into the $5,000 ranges, which is basically, it's never been there before. You know, this is, the, we're in its all-time high territories right now. Like, you go to the, you go to the, go to the three-month, you know, um, this is, you know, here you go. Like, it's like 1990 um, in the, uh, in the two thousands, like right here, 1500. And then now I think the highest it's gone is at four, uh, 48. So 4,826 or something like that. So it's, so really it's trending up. And if you look, you know, you see it's actually in a strong zone of the RSI, which could pull it into, if we go to the daily, you know, I mean, it could still, it could still go into these all-time highs. So uh, this is this is what I think, guys. I don't know. Let, let me know if you agree with this scenario. Oh, and by the way, 
let me know if you noticed the clean background. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but this this background is pretty pretty damn slick. I've been I've been looking at my videos, and I had a, a friend of mine say, "Yeah, you got to clean up that background, dude. You got like too much stuff going on. It's just distracting." And I think this is nice and slick. You know, I think it's pretty slick. Um, so the thing that I think is going to happen, guys, and let me know if you agree with this, is the current administration, the Biden administration, uh, that's that is in the White House, and you know these these Elizabeth Warren types, these you know these uh, uh, Brad Sherman guys, you know these people that actually really have no idea uh, about crypto. The the only thing that they know is that it goes against uh, their uh, scam. So anything that's going to go against their scam or try and stop it, they're going to try and put regulation in to make it really hard for people to do that because then it makes it hard for, for them to do their back dealings. And so uh, I think what is going to happen is that the Biden nomics are going to be fabricated to the point where they're going to print more money. They're going to, they're going to a print more money. They're going to lower interest rates and cut rates. And then by the time of the next election, they're going to have this case point to say, look, we pumped the market. Look at, look, look at all these people making money. The market was up all at its all time highs under Bidenomics. And that's what they're going to do to try and push that as their, basically their only, their only card of why you should vote for them because everything else they've done has been absolutely horrible and terrible and hasn't worked out. And that's been an obvious thing. Uh, in America here and, and and all around the world because the basically all all the countries around the world right now look at us as a giant embarrassment. So I mean it's like it, it you know the the way that America is viewed now is completely different than it was back in the day. You know we're we're flying we're flying rainbow flags over over the White House and letting uh, letting people have um, basically. Uh, gay sex in in one of the in one of the uh, <laughs> you know national hearing uh, uh, rooms pretty pretty crazy pretty insane let me know guys let me know guys in the chat if you if you feel the exact same way that I do about that if you think they're gonna try and just pump and they're just gonna pump the market so then they can make themselves look good because they wouldn't dare right before going into an election year have the market crash and I think that means with Bitcoin too. For real. I really think that's like, that's what's going to happen. Uh, let me know guys, if you think the same thing, let me know. I would, I would love to know your opinion. All right. So, uh, and we're going to keep this stream, uh, relatively short. Uh, sometimes when I get on these streams, I start going and I start talking about stuff and then I forget how long I've even been streaming. So we're going to, uh, do this one till about, about 7.30, it's 7.17. So if you guys really want to, for me to do some TA on specific coins that you like, and you want to, um, you want to see what's, see what's happening, I can do that. But yeah, our trade is doing very well on, on Matic, uh, doing very, very well. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to take, uh, just a little bit of profits off of this, maybe even like 25% because we definitely, we definitely made a decent trade, but I see the targets up here. You know, the targets definitely up here for sure. Um, definitely got definitely got a nice entry on that, and we'll check on here. So I'll tell you, uh, we got a nice entry on Crow. I think Crow is obviously though th that is one of the other altcoins that we have been keeping a keeping track on. Crypto.com just keeps building. You know, they have haters, but they also have a really great community because the the you know whether you like it or not, you know, Crypto.com has things that do work. They have an NFT marketplace. They're a good competitor against Coinbase. Uh, they've been able to actually do a lot. Lot more than what BNB has been able to do in US, like Binance, uh, Binance uh, US. You know, all the while, like BNB and Binance in the US are, are are getting you know getting hit so much and having to not even you can't use the stable coin. You know, there's just like a lot of a lot of drama with that. Crypto.com, it's kind of like it's there's not there's not a lot of drama. So I think in terms of even total value locked on the Kronos chain has DeFi, there's tokens. And so it's kind of one of those sleeper chains in a way that 
people are going to underestimate it. They're going to underestimate Crow. I really believe that. And it's and it's at a, a great price point in terms of where it was in the bull market and what you can do with it. Because the thing with, the thing with tokens is like, you know, what can you do with it? Oh, what can you do with the Crow token is that you can stake it for rewards and it links with the debit card, you know, uh, kind of like with Coinbase. Coinbase, you know, you have your cards, uh, and you can select which cryptocurrency you want to get as a reward. Uh, the the Crow card, you stake a certain amount of Crow tokens, and you get Crow back in staking rewards, and also get Crow for using the debit card. So let me go, guys, in the chat if you've ever used the Crypto.com card or the app at all. And if you haven't and you're interested in doing so, you guys got to check out my referral link because I've had Crypto.com for a long time. I've used it. It's functional. The support, the, the, the tech support is actually not that bad. That's the one thing. It's like you want to use stuff that you can actually talk to a human. Uh, the chat's very responsive. Like if you got a problem or an issue, you're like, hey, my transaction is not showing up. Like what is going on? And they will message you back very fairly quickly and get it solved. They'll make the and, and it's like a it's actually a good platform. All right, so let's go into the watch list. I want to go into the watch list of what I made so we can go down the list and talk about these coins. <laughs> And I hope you guys are doing well. We got about 10 more minutes, 10, 15 more minutes, and we are going to just go down this list. I've had the default list, but the, this is what I believe are going to be the 2024 bangers. And um, a lot of these, you know, you guys know them. It's their obvious picks. You know, we can't can't deny the the top 10 some of the top 10 projects that are i still believe will be in the top 10 but we're gonna see some some coins that we're not gonna really sus suspect to be in the top 10 that might might get in the top 10 just because of the sheer amount of market cap that could come into some of these gaming projects all right so so I want to pull up. I'm gonna pull up the. I'm gonna pull up the chat real quick. Pull up the chat. So. All right. So we got the obvious Bitcoin, Solana. I feel like such an idiot selling my Solana position. Do you know why I sold my Solana position? Because one, I was being stupid and trying to jump into different things that I thought were going to make better moves in the short term. And that's where I think a lot of people make the mistake of jumping around too much in the short term and not looking out and zooming out and looking saying, hey, Solana has a good, like, good chance to go back into its all-time highs and even go past that in the bull markets to, to $500. So why the hell would I close a position that I had in at an entry price of $35? It's because FOMO and all those things can really, really, really jack you up. So now Solana at $93, people are thinking, wow, that, like people were thinking that even going past 70, it's gonna retrace, it's gonna, it's gonna lose steam. And this thing is just keep just keeps crushing it. Yeah, the the phone, the Solana phone that people bought, they only paid six hundred bucks. And now the crypto that's on the phone that was loaded on the phone is now worth a total of a thousand dollars. So which that paid for the phone itself. And uh, now if those people that have the phone, they keep that crypto on that phone and keep it for two years as an experiment be a million dollars phone could be worth a million dollars so i think other projects are going to kind of jump on that bandwagon of having uh things that are loaded with uh either tokens or something like that so i think it's a brilliant idea uh so you got cardano cardano is crushing back up into that dollar range and i think that they're getting better at um letting the letting the community know that cardano isn't like as boring as what some people would would say it is like there is cardano DeFi. there's 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 a lot to do with the cardano ecosystem and then i think the the most popular meme coin right now on ada is snack 
and Snek is is just is is like bonk on Solana and um uh, cocking cocking you and on on Avax and uh, then I think there's another one that's coming up on on Injective. Uh, I can't remember the one that's on Injective, but that's kind of um that that's what we're looking at for 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 Cardano. So I think you know if we got so every project needs a meme coin. Every every like blockchain or every like layer one like basically needs a meme coin to be able to drive the community and adoption and put the liquidity in because then this is what this is what happens. Like, you know, say Snack Snack starts crushing it, you have to use Cardano to be able to in decentralized exchanges swap in as a pair to get Snack. So as long as that is happening and then also you have the actual uh capitalization of Cardano and everything else uh in in those projects are going up as well then naturally that the Cardano price is going to going to soar. So that's what is happening I think with Solana right now is that like you got that really good decentralized and centralized trading volume and then at the same time it's pushing the price up on the native token and then all of the native coins are on the on the actual token and then the native tokens are going up as well. So it's just like a nice um, piggybacking that happens naturally. And so AVAX, same thing. So I'll tell you guys what happened with my AVAX. My, my, literally, my AVAX was up 500% last night, and I had a, I had a Christmas party last night, and um, I was showing my friend my trades. I was like, you know, show, he's you know, into charting as well. Uh, he's from the old guard, you know, he's a, a good friend of mine, you know, I think he's about 60, 65 and, uh, he's, he's very knowledgeable about markets and, um, yeah, I was just showing him, showing him the charts and if he was smart, he probably would have been like, Hey, you need to, uh, you need to take some profit on that one right there. It's up, it's up pretty high. And, uh, I think he even jokingly said, Oh, it'll go down. And then, uh, sure enough, I didn't have any stop losses set, um, I was low margin, so so even the risk, like you know, I basically lost unrealized profits, and this is the second time on Avax because I was thinking Avax is going to break to fifty, and it ended up just retracing right back down to forty four dollars, and um, yeah, missed out on that potential profit, which was actually like it was not that bad for for putting in the trade when I did, good extra uh, two fifty um, two hundred fifty bucks, but I think with the position that we're in with, you know with uh with matic here which we might actually take we're gonna probably take some profits on that now since we're seeing a little bit of bearish a uh, little bit of a bearish divergence but let's get back into that list real quick uh we, we got dogecoin in this list we obviously know why we have dogecoin in this, this list and now we also have chain link chain link i think is gonna absolutely melt faces that is probably my strongest dca uh play in my portfolio that I think is just for long term like don't like don't sell it until 2025 when it's $500. <laughs> you think market cap is 8 8 billion and it's not even it's not even as high as uh, as what uh you you get chain you get chain link in what Solana's doing right now and maybe even Ethereum it it would just it's just going to absolutely crush. All time highs were fifty bucks on Chainlink. I personally think it's the safest altcoin for uh, for uh, the gains that I think a lot of people are looking for. And then we got Polygon. We talked about Polygon. Then we got Near Protocol has been doing very well on the seven day, up fifty three percent. A lot of people are now realizing that Near is. Um, Almost kind of like a almost kind of like a Solana. A lot of lot of partnerships. I think a Google Google Cloud data partnership, and then we have Injective. Uh, Injective saw a really a massive run because of the different partnerships that it was getting, and the same with Immutable X. We got Optimism. Optimism has been doing really well as well. Uh, Optimism. I think people are forgetting that the market cap is actually 
it's still pretty low for what it is. And uh, the price discovery on this coin could bring us into some really, really good areas. And uh, it is a layer two. So you can have optimism like on your MetaMask. You have the optimism token. And then you can use you, you, but you don't use optimism to, to swap, you know, you don't, you don't, you still use a wrapped Ethereum and that's the same on Arbitrum, but you can use it as a, as a different, uh, bridged chain. And then we got Kronos stacks has gone up a lot recently. I think the news with the stacks is that it has inscriptions now. So just like with the ordinals wallet, you know, that you go you go to the Ordinals wallet and there's other uh, Ordinals wallets that you can do these things as well. Um, and Ordinals, I think, is something that a lot of people are... Oh, yes. Uh, people are saying in the chat, do you know your website is expired? Yes, I do. That will be fixed shortly. <laughs> I need to actually revamp my website. Um... I've had it for a long time. It's DanielCurtisUse.com. It's got all of my my music and all the things I've done over the years. But um, definitely added like I want to make it kind of more crypto and music and Web three cent centered. Um, so yeah, right now, uh, see how my stuff is looking on the actual Ordinals wallet. So I've done uh, three inscriptions. We'll see what the total value is right now. Oh, nice. So actually the. <laughs> Awesome. Wow. The bitmap floor is insane. Oh my God. That's so awesome. All right. I haven't looked at this in a while. So the, I, I did, I should have inscribed more because really it was super cheap, cheap to inscribe on the bitmap. And also, uh, I mean the, the spe the space pepes aren't, aren't doing too, aren't doing too great with the floor price. Cause there's other, um, Bitcoin ordinal NFTs, that are are doing very well that are selling for like you know 0, like 0 0.02 or 0 0.01 bitcoin which is crazy but this is awesome so total value on the ordinals wallet now is at um approximately 370 dollars with just an initial deposit of 25 30 dollars btc i'm pretty i'm pretty sure I either put fifty, I either put fifty bucks or thirty bucks. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, that's amazing. Cool. So yeah, so with um, go back into here and so yeah, with stacks, stacks is using um, Taproot and some other mechanisms that is kind of like it's a layer two for Bitcoin. So so you can do DeFi. So I think when so naturally I think those things like ordinals and stacks already token uh maybe the meme coins the the meme coins that are on bitcoin though the, when bitcoin goes to 100k these things are going to naturally go up with it it's just kind of like the altcoin market so um so yeah and so we got uh i don't know celestia i don't know if that was the i was trying to find a specific uh I think it was Celestia, but no, it was that I was getting it confused with Elysium. So the Elysium blockchain is really interesting. They call it the uh, the green blockchain empowering AI, metaverse, and Web3 game projects. So it's kind of like you can use Elysium to build out um, uh, your, your game. They have an NFT marketplace. It says blockchain for a greener future. So yeah, it's a uh, it's involved with the Vulcan Forged um, ecosystem. So you can you can actually do swaps. They have um, a full marketplace. You can do they have launch pads, so you can swap between Ethereum. Uh, I think I think you swap between Ethereum, Polygon, a few different few different networks. And I think one of the tokens on here that you can, that's, that's, uh, it's called lava. So that's something to keep a radar on. And then we got Thor chain, got phantom bonk, osmosis, radium, Solana Dex. This is the Vulcan forge token. We've got Nakamoto games. We have a, uh, lending, uh, pools, staking, 
protocol, Stargate Finance. I think that is going to do very well. Very low market cap for what the potential is in the bull run. And then XYO, I think, is a sleeper Ethereum geo mining data oracle contract uh, that I think will still melt faces. Uh, Altura, that's going to be the NFT play. Um, for basically having the infrastructure, if you have an awesome game, Altura will be the thing that companies use for updating the off-chain and on-chain data for your NFTs. Say you bought a physical item and it's an upgrade for your NFT, well, and, and it makes your NFT in the game look cooler or it's like a sword or something like that or some kind of you know wearable thing, Altura is what people will be using. And then Orca is another Solana Dex where you're just seeing an amazing, amazing crush of volume coming into this Dex that is matching with Radium. That is matching on the scale of Radium. And you see how low the market cap is compared to Radium. And it still has just as almost just as much trading volume uh, inside that Dex that Radium does. So I would definitely keep an eye on some of these projects. This is just my my short my short 2024 bangers list that I believe will do well in the bull run. All right, so now let's see. All right, so we just saw a little bit of a bearish divergence on on Matic here, and let's look at let's look at the hourly. And guys, on Bitflex there is a new uh, rewards hub. And it's really awesome. You guys got to check it out. It's just super easy to sign up. All you have to do is go into the description, click the link, and make a deposit. And you get a nice deposit bonus. And then you can start interacting and getting these flex points. The flex points can get you rewards. There's different uh, vouchers that you can actually up, uh, upgrade, which gives you uh, discounts off of trading fees. I think this is a great move for Bitflex. Uh, I think they were they were a little laggy in some of the some of the features that a lot of these other really popular exchanges have. So adding this rewards flex points will build that incentive. And um, I think one thing, if Bitflex you're listening, you guys should add a, um, a text. Um, notifications for your trades, you know, so then you can really keep on it. You know, you can get notified, not just by email, but by text that say a trade is going into a certain price range and also to add where your uh, entry and order history is on the chart. So I would love to see that. All right. So now let's look at Matic. Let's actually see what is happening here. We had just a little bit of a bearish divergence, nothing too crazy. But I think uh, if we just look at Bitcoin and we maybe see what exactly Bitcoin is doing right now, that's always when you can see why altcoins are maybe doing a bit of a div. So if we look at the daily, I think we're, we are, uh, our target for this weekend is 46,000. And if we go into the 45 minute, and we look and see, these are the levels that we were drawing. We thought we were gonna do a nice, almost kind of like, but uh, like almost kind of like a head and a shoulder pattern kind of going up towards in this ascending wedge. But we actually did the opposite and we went, we went like this because that happens, you know. You can either go this way or that way, so it went the other way and it decided to swoop into that price range from the bottom here instead of going from the top. So. No big deal, no big deal, because we still got into the ranges, but now you can see that obviously we traded back under the trend. What can we do? What can we do in this price action? Well, we just gotta sometimes, we just sometimes just have to wait. And if you got your positions in, maybe take some profit, but look, the RSI though, it's looking good on that 45 minute. It's actually looking really good. So that that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so we got people in the chat saying, uh, XYO is gold. Keep in mind the coin app where you can mine coin, then redeem for XYO better than staking. Yeah, so I've actually, uh, I made a whole video on that. I made, I, got, I made a great video on XYO, and um, I have two different videos talking about crypto.com and XYO. Um, I discovered both of those things at the same time, and XYO is actually probably one of the most functional um, 
ways of being able to do something kind of cool and interact in um, in a app that has mini games, surveys, geodata mining. If you're a person that drives back and forth all the time, then it actually might be worth doing the XYO ecosystem and getting paid in that XYO because I mean, I stopped farming it, and if I would have been farming it from the day that I knew about XYO and actively farming it like a madman, I'd probably be a millionaire right now. But you know what? It's sometimes hindsight's twenty twenty, and we are all going to become millionaires. But it's actually, you know, when you when you find something and you and you feel like something's usually a good idea, and you got that instinct, and you, and you caught it in a certain time you were probably right. Just the difference is that you didn't have the conviction to stick with it and really say like, look, because I told myself back then, I was like, oh, I, I should just farm the shit out of this thing, excuse my language. And then all of a sudden it was, uh, it was, it was not what, you know, I didn't, didn't do it as hard, but, but yeah. But all right, guys, I feel like I'm going too far already. Thank you so much for coming into this live stream this morning. And uh, let me know what you guys are trading and be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that like button, guys, because that like button is the YouTube current, it's the YouTuber's currency. You like subscribing, you ding the bell, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what video you would like me to make uh, on which coin that you haven't seen me make yet. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace.